In testimony at the United Nations, a panel rejected a UN Human Rights Council report that accused Israeli soldiers of war crimes and crimes against humanity. The panel, hosted by independent human rights group UN Watch, warned diplomats and member states of the report's bias. By omitting from the inquiry reports of the use of human shields by Hamas, the report incentivizes these terror tactics in the future, and the risk posed to the civilian population of Gaza is exacerbated, said retired U.S. Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey S. Korn, a member of the panel. An IDF soldier seriously wounded in a terrorist attack in Samaria on Sunday has regained consciousness and has started to communicate, Walla News reports. 19-year-old Alexander Dubrovsky's brother said that the wounded soldier recognized us and even tried to speak to us, though it's still hard for him. Dubrovsky underwent an operation on Monday and was taken off his respirator. He is now classified as in moderate to serious condition. Israeli Justice Minister Ayala Chaked of the New Right Party stars in a provocative new campaign ad in which she sprays herself with fascism perfume. The Justice Minister has been accused of fascism by the left for her efforts to rein in the Israeli High Court, which has been increasingly accused of usurping legislative functions. Words in Hebrew that appear on the ad include judicial reform, separation of powers, and restraining the High Court. At the end of the ad, the Justice Minister says, to me, it smells like democracy. On Monday, the Washington Post reported on a previously undisclosed March 5th meeting between Jewish and Muslim House Democrats meant to foster tolerance, but which ended with Michigan Representative Rashida Tlaib in tears. The meeting was the second to take place with the purpose of building bridges between Jewish and Muslim Democratic representatives after Democratic Congresswoman Ilhan Omar made a series of statements that borrowed from classic anti-Semitic stereotypes. The group was formed to mend fences as the internal division created by the controversy threatens to derail the Democrats' legislative agenda, the Washington Post reports.